For years, I've wanted a pet of my own, but taking care of another living being sounds terrifying. Like, what if I'm just not good enough and can't take care of it properly so it dies, or worse, I step on its paw? So that's what brought me to Webkinz. All right, first things first, you gotta choose which Webkinz stuffed animal you like best. Hippo, dog, pig, cow, whatever this is, it don't matter. Secondly, each Webkinz comes with its very own code that you can put into webkinz.com and bam, you're now father and you have responsibilities. I'm sorry. Created in 2005 by Gans, Webkins is an online toy to life virtual pet MMO. You can dress them up, feed them, decorate their home, gamble with them, and so much more. Webkins were a strong force in the mid 2000s with a peak of 1 million concurrent players and an estimated $100 million in revenue in 2006 alone. Thank you, Wikipedia. Along with plushies, they also sold clothes, handbags, trading cards, figures, body spray, of course, and a whole lot more. The Webkins craze got so big, some schools were starting to ban them. And the plushies were struggling to stay on store shelves. There was also a large crowd of kids making peak cinema with their webkins on YouTube. I, of course, joined in on the fun, and who could forget about the webkins killer? As you can see, this game was a part of many people's childhoods for better or for worse. And surprisingly, it's still going strong to this very day. There's still a very solid community, and the game gets very frequent updates. Longevity for an old game like this is very rare. They're also keeping up to date with their ugly 3D remake that we will talk about later. But my main question is, does the original webkins hold up by today's standards. Well, there's only one way to get this grown bald man's opinion. I am going to be playing webkins and nothing but webkins for a month straight. Are we sure there's no other way? I want to learn the ins and outs as fast as possible and play this game in a way that nobody else has ever played before. So join me as I potentially lose my mind while playing this 19 year old kids game. Holy crap! Miss Birdie. The first thing I needed to do was adopt my first Webkins. Hello there! I'm Ms. Birdie. So I run the adoption center here in Kinsville. Just for the sake of relearning the game, I decided to adopt a free pet to start. You. Okay, now all we need to know before we can send this pet home Salami. with you is their name and whether Girl. they are a boy or Stop a... Talking, now Ms. you Birdie. need to... For security, please don't use your real name. You can save a picture of this page so you can remember this information later. Um, okay. The tutorial was really straightforward and unlike some other games of its time, everything was really easy to figure out. Well, as fun as this is, I think it's time to learn how to decorate. I'm going to save you my first impressions of this game because basically all I said was, I remember the art class. Oh my God. Oh my God. How do I remember this? Oh my God, I remember this. They have not updated these graphics ever. So the reason some of the textures look bad is because when the game ran on flash, everything was made with a vector graphic meaning it could upscale well, but basically with the death of Flash that no longer was the case and the game looks worse for it. But that did not stop me from having fun and rediscovering the magic of this game. I spent my first hour wisely and visited every single icon here to try to get a game plan going for the first month. A big thing with Webkins is its community of course, and there are plenty of places to hang out with other players, a and it's not really fun. Sigma? You of course cannot type out your own messages and have to use preset dialogue options. I also, for the life of me, could not get anybody to play a minigame with me online. I was going insane, I was trying for at least 5 minutes straight and no one wanted to play with me. So the magical forest has some fine dailies that I'll be checking out. Fairies have a chance of giving you items or useless charms that I will never finish collecting because there are so many of them. There's also this mode where you can take care of these things called zums, which as far as I can tell is just a webkins for your webkins and spoiler warning. I never got into Zums for this entire month. I I forgot they existed. I think the worst thing here by far is the Music Stars tab. I'm fucking 25 and have nothing better to do than this. Yes, I uh, finished the entire video. I also hate the adventure park. It has a bunch of quests you can complete for items and money, which sounds fun on paper. However, for the life of me, I could not figure out how to collect the pink dust clusters, which is the first mission. And another spoiler alert, I tried this again three days later and still had no idea what I was doing. So I ended up <laughs> just forgetting about the adventure park entirely for this month. I'm so sorry. But my favorite place is the curio shop with my boy art. You look like you're new here. And 
don't get me wrong, this is 100% nostalgia based. But what you do is go mining and try to find rare gems once a day. You can sell these gems for some kins cash if you want. Or if you're cool, you could hoard them all to eventually, hopefully one day complete the crown of wonder. Just like getting all of the charms in the magical forest, th this will never happen. I will, I know, I know for a fact, I will never get close to that crown and I'm very ashamed of it, but I'm gonna try my best. There's some things I'll have to check out later, like the Webkin Stadium. The stadium requires your Webkin to level up, and yeah, of course there's goddamn stats in this game, why wouldn't there be? You can level up your stats by completing classes with Miss Cowline, which just involves playing some basic minigames over and over, and I'm sure that won't get old. Well, it's been an educational day now, hasn't it? The employment office with Tabby Von Meow is very similar. You just play basic minigames over and over, but get rewarded in money. However, most jobs are locked from the start and many for some reason require you to answer hundreds of questions in Quizzy's Corner. And you know what? That kind of sucks because Quizzy's Corner kind of sucks. So when partaking in some trivia, you have to answer 50 goddamn questions in a row. What kind of kid has the patience for this? I never did this as a kid. However, on the bright side, you do earn some cash for cleaning these questions and you will eventually unlock more jobs. All right. <laughs> Something I noticed was how the game restricts how often you can do certain tasks. This of course is a regular game mechanic in these types of games and it's designed to get the kiddos hooked and coming back for more. It's not malicious at all, I swear. Some things you can only do once every eight hours or once a day. I can take a few classes at the school, which is fine, but I can only go on a recess once every 15 days? Why? It wasn't even a fun time. There was basically nothing to do and I also gained literally nothing. But what Whatever, I guess I'm for sure coming back in two weeks because they have properly managed to create a sense of FOMO in me. For recess. And I'm 25. Anyway. All right, if you're just here for some nostalgia, I got your back. <laughs> this is what the old menu used to look like and you have no idea how much this does for my pathetic brain. <laughs> other than that, there's obviously tons of mini games, shops, and other small things to do just for fun. Honestly, nostalgia trip aside, I had a great time playing and genuinely saw the potential this game has. If only I was playing this game the way God intended and wasn't binging it in one month. So now we're moving on to day one. Wait, what? Yes, what you just watched was day zero. I am not counting that as a part of this month. This was just my tutorial day and nothing more. Not only will I be playing this game every day for a month, but so will my roommate. At the start of every month, we're going to adopt a new Webkins. We're of course going to show it some love, but more importantly than love, we're going to compete to see who can deck out their Webkins pad the best. And at the end of the month, we're going to show it all off to a third party. And that third party is going to judge to see who is the better Webkins designer. So this should make for a fun and yes, stressful month. One. So who is my first Webkins going to be? This was a hard choice to make because there are over 1,000 to choose from. Now, I wanted to own each new Webkins physically and needed a working code. This alone did narrow down the options quite a bit because in 2019, Gans discontinued many of the plushies and switched to a virtual store model. Yes, I could buy a plush regardless of if the code was attached to it and then just buy the corresponding animal in game, but that wouldn't be any fun. Another factor in making my decision was the fur. You see, Webkins has a very unique way of making fur for their pets. This stringy way of doing it is so goddamn nostalgic to me, and I think it just looks better. Like, this Webkins right here could be any dog stuffed animal. I wouldn't know any better. But this, this is a Webkins, no mistaking it. So, needless to say, all of my Webkins are going to have this type of fur, narrowing down my choices even more. And without further ado, my first real Webkins. Sorry, Salami. I got a Google. I think I had a Google as a kid. Not 100% positive all i know is that he's awesome please enter the oh. adoption code that with came with pleasure. your pet okay now <gasps> all we need to know You're before we can send and whether they are a boy, boy or a girl Stop talking no i did not misspell his name you guys are the ones who can't spell look at him look at my boy he blew me a kiss he looks dead <laughs> 
Hey, Snorkel is dead, guys. Look at him go, though. He's awesome. So when adopting Webkins, you're handed a ton of money. And since I adopted two back to back, I was pretty loaded from the get go. And yes, I already paid for Webkins premium. Don't at me. So I wanted to quickly start planning the design of my sick pad so I could beat Kyle. So for Snorkel's bedroom, I went for an underwater theme because I'm guessing Snorkel is aquatic. There's no goddamn way this thing was built for land. Just look at it. So after blowing basically all my money on his one room, <laughs> I wanted to check out the games on this website. Oh my god, there are a lot of games, which is a pleasant surprise. Now, I cannot speak on the quality of said games. They're not great. Okay, it's not like these games are bad. Every single one I played for this entire month is like baseline fine. The problem is they're so easy to the point where I'm just wondering when it's going to end and you barely get any money from them. I thought the games would be where I make all of my bread, but no. The arcade is awful for earning money. And this month is not about fun, so this is a goddamn problem. It also doesn't help that Snorkel is constantly being annoying and asking me to do things I don't want to do. This month isn't for you, Snorkel, it's for me. But I do love you. Day two started off very productive. I did my dailies, of course, and found some new ones that I was missing and also realized there's a goddamn dailies tab. How did I actually miss this? <laughs> After all that, I tried to not shoot myself as I played one game called Crafty Carnies for 11 minutes to only get 156 kins cash, which is not a lot. And that was also with the game of the day bonus. While playing this stupid match four game, all I could think about was how this is going to be my life for a month and there was nothing I could do about it. So I then decided to look up the best ways to make money and I wasn't finding a lot of good consistent ways. That was until I stumbled upon my boy King Clark's 2023 guide. One huge piece of advice he had was to sell the decorations in the Kinsville map. That gave me a ton of quick cash. At this point, I trusted King Clark with my life. I mean, King wasn't his name after all. He truly felt like a prophet from God to help me play Webkins. In his video, he then started to explain to me how farming can earn you a ton of money. So without thinking about it, I immediately bought a plot of land for farming, which cost me 1,000 kins cash. A steep investment, yes, but why would this man lie to me, right? Well, he then explains how it takes six weeks to see a positive return on this investment. <laughs> so I bought this entire plot of land for nothing. I guess I now have to incorporate it into my plans. I am so goddamn furious. I want everybody to go to his video right now and comment. Hey, how are you? 2024 guide where? I then banged out 50 math questions in Quizzy's corner to unlock more jobs, planned out more decorations, and then Kyle got his first taste of my webkins. Salami's awesome, what the hell? Is she got a dinosaur hat? That's awesome. Give it up for day three. Well, well, well. Day three, I guess. What do I even do in this game? I don't remember. As you can see, my motivation was already waning. So for brevity's sake, just know every day I am playing my dailies. And since I'm making myself play for at least one hour a day every single day, just assume for most days I am also playing these boring games for way too long just to fill time. Today's bad game was Star Drops. I just scrubbed through the footage and realized the only time I smiled while playing this game is when I lost and it was over. But on the other hand, I found the first game that I really like and got addicted to, Color Storm. Wow, congratulations. You found the gem of the day. I gave up my childhood dream of creating the crown of wonder at the curio shop and started selling my gems to art for extra cash. That's how desperate I was getting. I think the best consistent money making method in Webkins is selling back items. There's a decent amount of ways to earn free items in this game every single day. So my plan is to get them and then sell them back to buy items that I actually want. It worked out pretty well. I earned enough money to buy an extra room and started organizing my gamer pad a bit. But the real highlight of the day was watching Monkey and Monkey. Heard about the cat that had a whole ball of wool? She had mittens! <laughs> I'm gonna join the Webkins Discord because I am in disbelief of how hard it is to make money in this game. Unfortunately, the only real advice I got was to enter the Kinsville Academy. And if you remember, this is the place that goes off the stats your Webkins can achieve from the school. But the problem with that is to even get one trait to level two, I'll need to train for at least two weeks. So in two to three weeks time, this may be a money maker, but for now, it does not help. Anyway, I found another new game that I actually enjoy and gave Snorkel a much needed bath. Five 
five, six, seven. For days five, six, and seven, I continued my normal strategy. The only thing of note that I haven't talked about yet are the clothing. Most of the clothes just do not look good on the pets, which is sad because that's the one thing they're designed to do. At the shop, when you click preview, it'll show you the clothing on a dog Webkins. Now, that doesn't really help when you have a goddamn armless Googles to dress. Things do look better on Salami, but I'm struggling to figure out what outfits I want to go with considering how pricey some of the clothing are. And I can't tell if they're really gonna look good on my pets until I actually buy them. Anyway, it's been a whole week of Webkins, so I think it's about time Kyle and I compare houses. I wanna check out your place first. Okay. Alfred is sick. That's nothing, nothing's wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ripstick, nice pirate theme. I like the backpack. Like, what do you think the theme is? It's like half swamp, like jungly swamp. Party jungle. <laughs> Party jungle, okay. <laughs> you have a movie here, don't you? Yeah, oh, you want to see a movie? <laughs> it's monkey, monkey princess capture. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll do the lines. If you want to see Kyle's epic weekly series, Monkey Princess Capture, check out the Patreon. So this is just the default oh. pirate room. Oh, so you have two rooms. But there's a race car that you can drive around. Oh yeah, there is. Is this Snorkel's pad? He's on a little screwdriver, yeah. I forgot. I will say you're at Valid. a bit of an advantage because I'm not a deluxe member. No, this is deluxe in here though. It's not? No. Oh, wow. It. Yeah. That's surprising actually. This is the gamer pad. Oh. Uh-huh. I went with, the, cause Slimey's a girl, so I went with the girl theme. Oh. Uh, like that. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, wait. That's fucking right. I don't know what the motivation for this room is yet. Uh, I just looks like a college dorm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sick. That looks awkward. But yeah, what do you think of the pad? It's pretty sick. Welcome to the second week of Webkin's Month. I would like to thank you guys for coming in. Salami, Snorkel, and our newest recruit, Nibbles. Isn't he awesome? We need to devise a plan to take down Kyle. Yes, after the first week, his house was kind of lacking, but he did have a few cool items. His fashion sense was on point, so we're gonna get you guys' fashion up. Let's be honest, Snorkel, you look like shit no matter what you wear. You have no arms, it's not your fault you were born like that. I'm sorry for you. Salami. So that's Nibbles, you're gonna be the hot guy. You're gonna be the hot one, Nibbles. There's no other choice. Meanwhile, let's talk about renovations. Anybody got some ideas? Good, good, good. Okay, we'll have a beach room. An entire room dedicated to a beach. Okay, good idea. Whatever the fuck that room was, we're gonna expand it into two rooms. We'll have like one kitchen area or something and then like a bathroom on top. All right, Nibbles, for your room, I'm thinking we go for some kind of jungle theme because I'm feeling very creative. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, this is gonna be so difficult to afford. The Witching Well 2 needs to start goddamn paying out. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Snorkel. You're the only one with literally any stats in this game. I can't, I can't toss you a set. Okay, we need to start getting better spree rolls. Oh, I haven't talked about spree yet in the video. Well, it's because it takes three goddamn weeks for anything to happen in that game. Oh shit, it's time for recess. I'm never going back to recess. That shit's stupid. All right, I'm gonna fucking kill you, Slummy. Just shut the fuck up, Slummy. Shut up! Jesus. Great work on the grill, Snorkel. I'm proud of you. I don't know how the fuck you were flipping those pancakes, but you did great. All right, I think we've done enough here. It's time for the weekly check-in. I got new fits going. Whoa! That's right. Snorkel's got two more. <laughs> <laughs> Looks awesome. I know. Whoa! Mm-hmm. Oh man. Give me a nice My kitchen. My house isn't this good. It's not? No, it's is, not. Is it because you don't have salami? Might be. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh, that's where Snorkel's hanging out. This really isn't a competition anymore. Yeah, this is Nibble's room. We got two bathrooms. One if you don't mind pooping in front of the attendee. <laughs> <laughs> and one if you want to hide from him. Okay. That's and good. Too. Nice. No, we can't, no. Nibbles. What Shut up. Time and place. Oh my Jesus god. Jesus Christ. Pool room. Pool room. Yeah. You got a garbage bin. That's awesome, actually. I'll yeah. find a spot. I know where that's going. Okay. Uh, so this uh, room yeah. has not changed. This is Ripstick's room. Uh, so Alfred, th this is. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> there's a little passage. Yeah, it lets that's you go cool. anywhere in the house. What? But I only have three rooms, so. That is cool. This room. That's Edward the Bat. Yeah. So. He's <laughs> not fucking bad, dude. He looks really cool. He's not a conformist, all right? Like, he's, okay. And he's Whoa! <laughs> I have the same one. I, yeah. I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> That's the toothpaste night table. We did it, guys. This place looks like shit. We fucking did it. We did it, yes. 
Frogs. Frogs. Frog week. All right, this is gonna be sick. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a little manga. It's kind of the best manga ever to exist. It's true. It's called Sergeant Frog. So the naming scheme is, in is inspired by Sergeant Frog. Tadpololo. This is Tadpololo. Girl Frog Week. Girl Frog Week. <laughs> so this is my third straight week of webkins and I've officially gone into the groove of things. I had a routine of just knocking out webkins every day ASAP and honestly, I started to look forward to playing it every day. Like I said earlier, there are no good quick ways to make money in this game. But if you play consistently every day, the money does start to add up. And to be fair, game design wise, that's much smarter. At this point, I kind of got bored of playing new games that I knew I wouldn't like, so I just stuck to the games I did like and competed in tournaments. Mostly Color Storm because it's just the best game I found. I also finally made it to the end of the spree board and bought some unique items. I also already had plans for Tad Polo's room. I've noticed that if you're going to design a big room like I have been, one theme alone isn't enough to fill the room, so you need to pick at least two themes. I thought going for a forest slash wizard vibe would be really cool for my frog. I also started revamping some old rooms to improve them with my newfound webkins knowledge And I think Kyle is thoroughly impressed. I've already seen this place. Mm. Oh Okay, pretty epic. What? <laughs> I know <laughs> This room is too cool. What I know Whoa, mm -hmm. all because you have deluxe. This is none of this is deluxe, bro. Mm -hmm. Literally none of this is deluxe. Because you're deluxe. I don't understand then. Why, where are you finding all the cool themes? I just play, play every day. All the themes, I look oh, at I the themes. Oh, I don't do that. I know. <laughs> this is pirate school. The pirate school's awesome. Yeah, I had all the I school can't, equipment. I can't deny you that. She's sick. No, like sick, like has a cold. Looks Stuff like has changed in here. It looks like she's about, to, she's drowning right now. She, <laughs> where's her eyes? She's waterboarding herself. Okay. Aside from Kyle's newest addition to Monkey Princess, he still did not add a ton to his place. So I know the audience is thinking, what could be better than Frog Week? Monkey, Monkey Week! Week! What the fuck? This monkey looks- I don't like how he looks. I don't either, actually. What the hell? Why are you ugly in the game? Why are you fucking up? Guava. Guava? Yeah. Okay, at this point, I was loaded with Kin's cash and already had my rooms planned out. Guava was my creative little free spirit boy and I added a wee broom just because I could and had the money. So after a couple days of working on these rooms and the sneaking suspicion that Kyle wasn't really adding much to his house. I felt comfortable that I was not only going to win, but dominate against him in the competition. So what better to do than load up Webkins next, the 3D Webkins remake. I'm gonna shoot it to you straight here. This game is a downgrade in every single way. And there's already tons of videos destroying this game, so I'll keep it brief. No, it's Miss Hi, Biscuits. I'm Miss Biscuits. Hey, Miss Biscuits. welcome to Webkins World. These pets would love to be part of oh, your family. Oh, no. Which one will you They're choose? They're so creepy. I'm not even like trying to ham this up. That's just, they're just kind of creepy. He's standing on his hands. His butt's not touching the ground. Name or the stove. Hands stuffy. Hands stuffy. Why? Hands. Name him Mr. Hands. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. So this game has a hub world that you can run around in and interact with players just like the original, but way worse. Pretty much everything that exists is just some kind of 3D version oh of what's in the original. God. This game tried to bring some new stuff to the table, but none of it's very fun. Some of the games are straight up ripped from the original, or maybe the original ripped the new games, I'm not sure. All of this just makes the game feel so unnecessary. Again, it's not meant to replace the original webkins at all. They are made to coincide and be played next to each other. So I'm not really mad or complaining. I'm literally just never going to touch this game again. <laughs> Welcome to the final day of webkins month. I'm I'm sure by now you're wondering who's going to declare the victor. Josh of Kielvin fame will be declaring who is the best Webkins designer. He just finished evaluating my room and oh what a critic he was. He did not hold back on his harsh critiques and asked me questions that even I wasn't prepared for. Why is Frog fuzzy? <laughs> uh, who's the fucker in the corner? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's Alyssa. I hate her. Okay, well, I picked the girl theme because Salami's a girl. I, it's mostly the same. It's sexist. Yeah. Yeah, I too contemplate my <laughs> biggest <laughs> mysteries while looking at my dirty laundry. Can you play the drum? No, no, Snorkel doesn't have arms. I hate this room. No, Snorkel, you can. Look, Snorkel has no fucking arms. Uh, we're gonna cook real quick, though. What the f 
fuck are you making? <laughs> I don't know yet. Blue gum. You did not. Uh, okay. Where, where did the blue come from? Uh, let's see if he likes it. <laughs> Chewy, but not in a good way. All right. Shut the fuck up. That's his artistic side trying to make a light of a horrible situation. You fucked up. Just accept it. Holy shit, that's a dope organ. You want to see something cool? Oh. Yeah. All right. The ducks, he's like the safety duck. He's making sure you don't fucking die on the trampoline. He's doing good. He hasn't died yet, and he's like yeah. 10 jumps in. And he's doing like spins and shit. <laughs> no, with a French horn. That's definitely the gamer pad. And no, no gamer room is complete without dogs playing poker. <laughs> yes, I'm glad you noticed. I didn't want to point it out. I wanted you to see it. It's very clean. Thank you. I think a bunch of animals would have been. Nope. <laughs> I didn't mean Great room. I love it. All right, where are we now? <laughs> uh, oh, this is fucking uh, Nibble's room. Oh, fuck. Wait for it. Two cars. Oh, he's trapped. Hang on. What? So this is Tad Polo's room. Well, I hate him. <laughs> Why do you hate It's a her, first of all. Why do you hate her? I hate her. Why? It's making the, the fur. And this looks exactly like the kind of place a furry frog would live. Yeah, exactly. So it's awesome. <laughs> what do you mean? But I hate the furry frog. Uh, what's with the contemplation couch? Is that for when you take an extraordinarily large shade and you have to I mean, think about what you just let out of you? It, it, it's versatile. You can do your makeup here or you can just fucking think about what just came out of you. <laughs> <laughs> you must have given these uh, animals some like really distorted views of themselves by putting a funhouse mirror in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't even see the rubber ducky. I mean, this is a real beach. If I'm being honest with you, I think you kind of you're doing some like faking out here with that wallpaper and i'm not falling for it oh so you've seen every room aside from the school so far and i know what you're thinking yeah school's boring i was thinking that right so <laughs> why would i put a school in my house especially when snorkel's been going to the kinsville academy every single day it's a pirate school <laughs> yeah there's candy in the cannonball in the crow's nest he learned that from pirate school Holy shit. he's learning how to look <laughs> <laughs> It's hard. Not everyone can do it. All right. All right. Should we bring Kyle in here? Yeah. So all you right. did a lot of theming and work on this. So Kyle's got, got some work to do. All right. Damn. So this is the <laughs> foyer. Like hotel. This is the foyer. <laughs> yeah. It's got a very um uniform aesthetic. Who mans the foyer? Is uh, it? Bape, I'm going to say. I'm going to say bape. Okay. Mostly does. So this, yeah, this is the bathroom. It's all underwater. There was a flood. There was an incident with the toilet. Mm hmm uh, so we're gonna have to get the bathroom redone, to be honest. But so it, you're telling me it's very cool. Instead <laughs> of getting rid of the flood, you installed submarine hatches. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know if you know this, but we're in the red right now. Like, we're not making a lot of money. So, <laughs> we don't but have I it. feel like it, removing water is cheaper than installing hatches. Is this is Ripstick's room. It's very eclectic. <laughs> yes. Oh, hold on. There we go. Oh. Uh, yeah, that makes it so much nicer. <laughs> yeah, this is what we call the nice room. All right, any questions about this room? <laughs> Can we leave? <laughs> That's my question. Yeah, we can leave. I don't like, I don't like it here. Oh, fuck. Uh, this dope. Is it edible? That that geode, that's like thousands upon thousands of dollars. <laughs> this is Ripstick's room. Uh, Edward's just chilling in here right now for some reason. Uh, let's switch vehicles yeah, up. Yes. This is exactly what I was expecting from his room. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, this is Babe's room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he has a tea, tea party here. Is this what? part of a creek? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> Why is there an airplane window and a creek? And is this sponsored by the school? <laughs> yes. Ah, in mere moments, this month long battle will be over. Let's see who wins. It, it's definitely tough because Calvin's. You clearly put the work into that. Like, you, you had connecting themes and everything. Each one of you, like, planned out, like, the lad in the room and all that. And Kyle is spoke to me on a spiritual level. <laughs> was a monkey princess? <laughs> monkey princess definitely was involved. <laughs> <laughs> that's valid, that's valid. And I don't really have much more to say other than I have to go with the vibes that I got and how I felt going through each one. And Calvin's, I don't want to say it's basic, you know, <laughs> but it's more like what you would expect 
from a Webkin's house, you know? And Kyle's, like, if you were to go to that room to the right there, <laughs> you'd yeah. experience something that, I don't know, it took me by surprise and I thought it was really unique <laughs> with a bittersweet ending. <laughs> it's not even the right word for this, but I think Kyle wins. Yeah. <laughs> ah.